Dang, what up, what up, what up? We in the building, you feel me? Um, you know, today's video was about Fibonacci retracements. Um, I use Fibonacci a lot in my trading. You know, obviously I use, you know, support and resistance, which I classify as key levels, key areas, trend lines, you know, moving averages. I don't really use indicators or fancy software. I hate all of that stuff because they're all fake. They don't work. The only indicator I use is a moving average. And of course, you know, Fibonacci retracement and the Fibonacci extension tool. So, you know, some people don't really use Fibonacci. It works for me. It works for the majority of people I know and who are, you know, great traders. So I'm going to break it down for you in this video. Before I get started, if you like my channel or you want to see more content and be notified when I release videos like these, because I release videos every single day and I have been for the last, you know, week and a half, two weeks, subscribe below, you know, go down, go down right now, hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when I release a video tomorrow or the next day because I'm teaching people how to trade the market. On a surface level, you know, obviously I have an online course at www.theswagacademy.com where I directly mentor people one-on-one, -on -one, you know, FaceTime calls, Zoom sessions, Skype sessions, text messages, you know, analysis, you know, all that stuff. But on a free level, my YouTube, subscribe below and you will be notified. So the Fibonacci retracement tool, the Fibonacci, obviously, like when I show my charts in a few minutes, it's simply a tool that helps you figure out retracements from reversals. We know if, if a trend is going up and it comes back down, that's a reversal. A retracement is the market will never go straight up or straight down. It'll come up, come down a little bit, up, down a little bit, up, down a little bit. Or if it's going down, down a lot, up a little bit, down a lot, up a little bit. Those little bit of ups or a little bit of downs, depending on if it's up and trend or downtrend, is called a retracement. And the Fibonacci retracement tools helps us figure out retracements from reversals where we can get another entry and you know buy again or sell again and have an actual take profit because without the Fibonacci tool, our take profit is usually, you know, the next key level, the next support, the next resistance, the next daily area. But the Fibonacci has its own extension, which is where the extension comes into play. Its own extension where it tells you a number based on the ratios. When I get into what Fibonacci really is, it tells you where to place your take profit and more times than not price will get to that area, you know, overall. When we get to my chart in the next 30 seconds, but I got to give you a breakdown of what Fibonacci really is because like, I mean, it's boring. You don't really need to know it. It's already factored in in the charts. But just for you to know in your own brain and own mind, Fibonacci was created by a guy named Leonardo Fibonacci. And he realized when you add up a series of numbers, basically a ratio, it turned into a sequence. So zero plus one is one. One plus one is two. One plus two is three. You know, two plus three is five. Three plus five is eight. And so on and so forth. You add the first two numbers and get another number. What he did is he divided those numbers like, you know, the five and the eight. And when you divide the numbers that's next to each other, you get 61.8 every single time. When you, you know, space one out and do like five and eight is 13. So five and 13, skip the eight, you get 38.2. Mind you, none of this stuff matters. It has it all factored into the chart. This is the boring stuff, but just for you to have in your mind, just know what Fibonacci is, where it comes from. He used it to, you know, describe proportionate things in the universe. So in his own life, but us as traders have taken that and implemented it with the charts and with this actual tool because it helps us figure out okay ratio wise how far is price going to drop back down before shooting up or you know go back up a little bit before you know crashing down so enough all the boring stuff let me just place on the chart because it's really really easy it sounds difficult and it sounds like you know it's a lot it's really not it's the easiest thing in the world so let me go on my charts really quick all right, so we have our charts here. Boom. So we have, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna keep my resistance and my support levels here, like I actually do when I actually trade. Um, so if I click play here, I'm in a bar replay mode, so I can give you guys examples. What you should know is Fibonacci is not to be traded by itself. It's meant to be choreographed and confluence with support and resistance, the trend lines, the major market patterns, all that. You can't have it by itself because you're gonna miss an important element, basically a resistance, a support. Right here, we have it right near resistance. So if I can click play, see price clear as day, dropping down. Cool, I can zoom in a little bit. This is a Fibonacci retracement tool. It helps us figure out retracements. This is why you need your key levels, your support and resistance on because if we didn't have this resistance on, we would have thought this would have been a retracement from you know an uptrend, but I know, like I said, I've been a trader for five years now, so I know when price gets to a certain level and it reverses, that's an actual reversal. It's not a retracement. It's not, price is not going to retrace off of a key level. You feel what I'm saying? So this is a reversal. So I'm looking for a downtrend, you know, Fibonacci retracement tool. So I'm looking for price to go up a little bit and then drop down to hell. So if I click play, we can watch it clear as day. Still going down, still going down. 
Boom, finally going up. Okay, cool. This is a significant move that allows us to place the Fibonacci tool. So what it is, like I said, in a downtrend, price goes all the way down and then it comes up a little bit. When price starts coming up a little bit, that is when you draw your Fibonacci retracement tool on. So we grab it from here, Fibonacci retracement, and we click it from the top all the way to the bottom. So for a downtrend, you click it and you drag it from the top, the swing high, to the bottom, the swing low. So 100 should always be at the top and zero should always be at the bottom in a downtrend. In an uptrend, it's the opposite. And I'll give you an example of that too. So we have our levels here, 38.2, 56.8, and 78.6. Price should reverse off of one of these levels. I'm not a trader who just tells you price will reverse off of 38.2 or 50 or 61.8 because chances are, like if you think that, you may just blindly sell or buy when it gets to the 38.2 and then price goes up a little bit to the 61.8 and then it goes down and then it goes up and you just lost money because you weren't patient enough. So I like to watch it and when I get a significant move and a significant like overbearing of a candle, I'll scale down to the 15 minute time frame with a five minute time frame and enter. So for example, we have it here. And before I even get into price reversing, what it really does, you can copy exactly what I have here. I have the zero, 38.2, 61.81, negative 27 extension, negative 61.8, 50, 78.6. That's all I have here. You can copy the, the, the prices, the levels, like everything I have here, just put it on your Fibonacci as well. Um, before I get before I get to what it should do, these levels below zero are our take profit every single time. So like I said, if you watch my videos, I trade in levels. So my take profit is usually the next resistance or the next support. But using Fibonacci, it's a way to get a, another take profit before it gets to that support. Because it may be in the middle of no man's land like this. Like my next support is way down here. As opposed to waiting that long, I can have a Fibonacci retracement and get my money here or here because price may come right here and then go up and then go down. You know what I mean? I can get in two, two or three different trips at the same time. And I can get into a couple different trades at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So price is coming up right now. We can look at it, right? Clears that. We click play. We see what it wants to do. And this is what I mean. If if you were if you were one of those traders who think it's just gonna reverse at the 38.2 every single time, guess what? You'd have lost money right here. You see price came down and it gave you a signal, but no, you have to wait for an overbearing of a candle. Boom, boom, that's huge. Boom. Okay, this is telling us a clear as day. Hey, you shouldn't have got in. This is what I mean why you can't just look at it as 38.2 or 50 because guess what? You'd have gotten right here for a sale. You'd have lost all your money. You know what I'm saying? So no. So now I can look at it, click play some more. Look at that. Let's get onto a 15 minute time frame. Click play, look for my entries. What I honestly would do, because I see it starting to consolidate a little bit, draw a box from here to here. I honestly would just wait for price to break this box, honestly. Or start creating lower highs. I see a lower high right there. This high is lower than that high. Boom. Like I said, I probably would have entered right here. I just click play and play and play. But once I see a lower high and a break of structure, enter. So short position. I would have entered around right here. Stop loss. Could go above the box. For a sniper entry, I probably would put it right here. But let's just put it above the box just for right now. Um, we can go back to the one hour, two hour time frame. Now, take profit way down here 27 extension negative 27 extension drag it over this is how you trade the fibonacci extension all it does is it gives you a retracement tool to help continue your trade and give you a take profit that's called the fibonacci extension this is our extension levels so you have a one to eight risk to reward ratio right now you know what i'm saying so we click play we watch price do what it does and where does it go you zoom in a little bit you can see it Look at, what it, look at what it's doing. Going right to the negative 27 extension. Right to it. Right to it. It usually does that more times than not. Nope. Right to it. Boom. Right there. The minute it does that, get out the trade. Get out the trade. Boom. You got your money. You got out the trade. You can delete the Fibonacci retracement tool and all of that. But before I show you that, here's a 61.8 extension. This is only if price goes past the negative 27 extension. It can do that. Like I said, you don't got to know these numbers and these ratios. You just got to know how it functions. How it functions is when price re retraces off one of these levels, it goes down to the 27 or the 61.8 majority of the time. Sometimes it'll get to zero and then stop, but that's like that doesn't happen as much as much as it goes to the extension levels. Um, but at that point, we can just delete it. Now, at this point, we can look at it and see, OK, what does price want to do? Does price want to go all the way back down here or stop at this mid level? We wait to see what it wants to do. Price could easily retrace or come back up or come back down. 
it's a constant game. Like the Fibonacci retracement should be constantly added if you see it fit. Don't force it on, but if you see it fit, great. I see price coming up and retracing now. So now where is the highest point price went to before going back down? Here. So again, swing high, swing low. Boom. Now we're waiting for it to retrace off of one of these levels, 38.2, 50, 61.8, and 70.6. Remember, remember, price does this all the time. A, B, C, D. That's how Fibonacci is really explained. So our A would be our swing high. Let me just get this right here. A right here. B right here, where the zero was. C, where it reversed off of. And D would have been, you know, our actual extension, our retracement, our take profit level. Now we're past that right now. So now, since this is our new Fibonacci, A is here. B is here. C is wherever it reverses off of, and D would be the extension levels, just so you just so you guys can know that. And we just watch price, we just wait to see what it does. I'm gonna make this a little bit faster because I don't want to make this video too long. Click play. Just look at it. 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 Boom. Just look at it. I can even get a trend line right here, a counter trend line, just to help with some confluence action. And whenever price breaks this trend line, I can actually look in to get in to scale in. Click play, boom, 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 boom. Whenever price is breaking this trend line, like I said, I'm doing it really fast to show you guys, but when price is breaking this trend line or when it's about to, like you can see the lower highs already. If I can just delete this retracement really quick, you can see price came down, came up, couldn't break and go past the moving average, started creating lower highs. My entry would have been right here, short position, right here. Boom. Let me get the actual uh, Fibonacci actually back up. Boom, boom, A, B, boom. Okay, cool, right back up. Stop, my take profit would be way down here because it's so close to the support level. I know it's not gonna get to here and then go back up. So it's so close right now. So stop loss could either be, if you got a crazy entry, which I advise you to do when price is reversing off of a retracement, go down to the five or 15 minute. If you did, you could have easily, easily entered right here and had a stop loss right here. The tightest, you know, the tightest entry, the most sniper of an entry ever. That would have been a one to 26 risk to reward ratio. This is why I preach sniper entries and I have to make a video on getting really good, precise entries because that's the biggest thing that'll, you know, maximize the rewards while minimizing the risk. But if you didn't, you know, scale in on the 15 minute time frame, then your stop loss would have to be unfortunately way up here, which brings it to a one to four risk to reward ratio as opposed to one to 26. So sniper entries is where it's at. And I have to make a video on that because that is how you'll maximize, you know, your rewards. You know, it's a big difference when having a one to 26 risk to reward ratio than one to four. You follow what I'm saying? So um, right here, boom. Now we just watch it go either all the way down or all the way up. Now, the reason you have two different uh, extensions and take profit levels is because you probably got in on this sale way down here. This one right here, clear as day, is where our Fibonacci is starting from. We probably sold it originally for our first trade. This is our scale in trade where we add a second or a third position. Now, our first take profit could be here, the 27 extension. Our second and third for this you know, scale in can easily be the 61.8. Depends on how you have it. I'm just giving you like the overall knowledge of how Fibonacci usually worked. So we look at this clear as day. We see what it wants to do. Price just, I'm making it fast too. Price does all, all this little stuff price wants to do. Let me just bring this over. But you see it starting to drop. You see it dropping for real now. Gets right to the area. Boom, right there. Trade is over, you're done. This is why when you get in a trade, fall back because you could have easily, you could have easily saw this, you know, doing all this consolidation like you know what i'm just gonna take my money and get out and then you miss the entire drop once you're in a trade relax go do what you want to do work out be with your girl be with your man don't really focus too much on the actual trade just let it play out have your stop loss in place have your take profit in place and let it play out okay i found an uptrend someplace so if i click play we can see what it wants to do we can easily get it from there okay cool let me just start it from here so uptrend where's the lowest point it went to before going up mind you it's the opposite now so we draw it from the bottom all the way to the top and now price should reverse up to 38.2 50 or 61.8 our extension is already placed up here this is our take profit this level right here is our take profit so if we click play you can see price clears that see what it wants to do i'm not going to talk about inches right now i'm just going to make a point price should reverse up to 38.2 50 61.8 or 78.6 when it does that you scale in and to play just a little bit, make it faster. 
Boom. You can see clear as day price is bouncing off the 50. We click play. Boom, price is heading up. Your entry would have been on the 50. Guess what price does? Price gets exactly to the 27 extension. Boom, clear as day. Clockwork all the time. And that is how you use the Fibonacci retracement tool. You can watch that video over and over and over again to ingrain it in your head, but it's really simple. When price is shooting up and it's starting to come down just a little bit, place it from the bottom to the top and watch it reverse off of the 38.2, the 50, the 61.8, or the 78.6. Once you see it slowly reversing, scale down to the five minute or the 15 minute, enter and have your take profit at the negative 27 extension or the negative 61.8. Same if it was a downtrend. If you see price shooting all the way down, don't have it yet. Don't even try to enter. Just wait for it to retrace a little bit and enter on the retracement, on the pullback. So, like I said, if you got in at the top before it shot down, that is perfect. But if you just, if you open your charts and price is already shooting down, don't have FOMO. Don't try to have greed and, and try to get in the trade. Don't have none of that. Just wait for it to retrace. Because mind you, price, keep this in your mind. Price always has to retrace. No matter what. Price always has to retrace. Keep that in your brain. Price will never just shoot all the way down to hell. It has to retrace. There's always another trade for another day. And you have to be really understanding of the Japanese candlesticks in the major market patterns. You got to know what a doji is, a hammer, a shooting star, an evening star, a morning star. You got to know all of that because when you see those type of patterns print on a 78.6 or a 61.8 or any of the retracement levels, that is telling you to get in. Technical analysis makes up damn near the, like the majority of the market, like 90% of the market. Like Use it all. Use the trend lines, use support and resistance, use Fibonacci, use a moving average if you want to use an indicator. That's the only indicator I use. And know the Japanese candlestick patterns. Those are the only five things you need to really understand technical analysis and how to trade using technicals. Comment below on what video you want to see next. Somebody, A couple people commented that they want to see me talk about Fibonacci retracement because they don't really understand it. It may seem really complex, but it's really, really, really easy, especially when they do all the math for you. So I hope that helped you guys. Like I said, um, if you have any questions, email me at chris at theswagacademy.com. And if you want to know more about my website, my online training and access to my course, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's www.theswagacademy.com. Like I said, I have one-on-one -on -one mentorship. I train people. I teach people every single day. I give my analysis. I break the markets down for them. I give them a trading plan. I have a social timeline where it's like Facebook and Twitter, essentially, where you can you know post your charts, message other members, send friend requests, all of that stuff. So, gang, I holla at you guys. I appreciate you for watching the video. I will make another video tomorrow. Um, just let me know what videos you want to see next, and I will gladly, gladly, gladly make those videos. So, I holla at you guys as always, gang.